change. The act or instance of making or becoming different. Evolution. The gradual development of something, especially from a simple to a more complex form. So, if you've been following us on our social media platforms, particularly Twitter, or even on our YouTube channel, if you guys have noticed, or even if you haven't, you'll notice that there are a few different things about those platforms, particularly our cover art, as well as our profile pictures. And if you've paid any attention to that, you'll notice that there's a different name that has the Files podcast attached. Over this last year, and if you guys remember, September 11th, 2021, is our one-year anniversary of the C-Files podcast. It's been an amazing journey so far. The journey's not over just yet. We're still going, but it's time for a change. And a better tomorrow is only possible if we blow away the ashes of the past. The C-Files podcast, in name only, will be coming to an end come October 31st. We're going through a bit of a evolutionary process. We're changing. If you guys remember, we went on a bit of a hiatus earlier this year. One of the last movies we talked about was 1999's The Mummy. And that was a fun review. It was a great movie to watch again. And then we disappeared for a while. And after some careful planning and evaluation of everything we've done Up until that point, we came to a decision to change the name of the podcast. The C-Files podcast was born out of our old YouTube channel called The J2C Files. And we wanted to stick close to that name as much as possible when we were first developing the podcast in its infancy. Which is why we went with the name of The C-Files. One other reason is because my name, and also... My co-host's name, Caleb and Carter, obviously start with the letter C. So the C-Files was a personal choice for us in naming the podcast. And as you guys know, we were a part of a podcast network. Long story short, things fell through on that, and we left the network. And that's sort of when the hiatus began. We were on and off on the podcast, and it was a fairly upsetting time. But recently we were at Fan Expo Dallas, Texas, and we had a bit of a reinvigoration and motivation for the channel. On top of this, we had great help from a personal friend of ours, a friend from the channel, that being Kyle Curtis Flett. He is one of the main reasons why the podcast is getting back on its feet. If it wasn't for him, the podcast would probably still be where it is, or where it was, just a few weeks ago. But, we are getting back on our feet. We've got some new stamina, we've got some new invigoration and motivation going forward. As you guys know, in our latest episode, in our return to the Retrothon, we had a new guest on. This guest was able to come onto the show thanks to Kyle introducing him to us. So we are incredibly grateful for what Kyle has done for this channel. And Kyle helped in the name change for our podcast. Myself, Carter, and Kyle had a talk discussing different names and how it could work out and particularly how it could work out in keeping the spirit of the C-Files alive. At the heart of it all, the C-Files podcast was an homage to one of the greatest science fiction shows that have come out, that being The X-Files. I was a personal fan of The X-Files for a very long time, and I still am to this day. And when developing our own podcast, I wanted to have the spirit of the science fiction and sort of alien-esque inspiration weaved into our channel. Hence the reason why we call ourselves The Sea Files. Even our own little catchphrase, 
the entertainment is out there, is an homage to the X-Files catchphrase, the truth is out there. So, in developing our new name, we want to keep that spirit alive. At the same time, we also wanted to do something different. Something that was a little relevant to today. So as you guys might know, we have been avid fans of the Call of Duty Zombies franchise, developed by Treyarch Studios. Starting from all the way back in Call of Duty World at War, and onward, myself and Special Agent Carter Sauce have been diehard fans of the Zombies franchise, and we've been following all the games related to the Treyarch Zombie storyline since 2008. And recently, with the edition of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, a new storyline has developed, that being the Dark Ether storyline. And the name Dark Ether has a few different meanings. One, it is a very cool name. It is also a very mysterious name. And our podcast has always been surrounding the mysterious and unexplained secrets that were the sea files and so now we felt that it was a fitting title for our podcast going forward the name has many secrets to it and also has relevance to our own world today the dark ether this past year with the coronavirus pandemic has opened up a lot of interesting discussions and we're heading into a new world and where that world is heading, we're not entirely sure, but the truth is out there. You just have to know where to look. But all things considered, we are heading into a new ether, a dark ether. While some may be afraid of this term, they might even be intimidated. Here at the Sea Files, we're excited. We're entering into a new world. For the channel personally, we're heading into bigger and better horizons. We'll be doing lots of collaborations with different content creators across YouTube and other social media platforms, as well as the different podcast platforms. We're very excited for this. New opportunities are opening up for us that were previously not attainable. But thanks to some very good friends of ours and a little inspiration from traveling to a local convention, we have returned. This time, we're going to have a different name. Effective on November the 1st, 2021, we will no longer be the Sea Files Podcast. We will be known as the Dark Ether Files Podcast. And since we've resurrected the Retroathon, we wanted to take this opportunity to use the Sea Files name one last time. So for the rest of this month, up until October 31st, transitioning over to November 1st, we will keep the Sea Files name on the YouTube channel as well as on the Patreon. You'll still be able to find our Retrothon if you type in the C Files Retrothon. Everything we've done up until now that has had the C Files name attached will stay that way. This way, when people search out our channel, or if anybody recommends our channel to new viewers, they'll be able to find us. But of course, from November 1st going forward, the Dark Ether Files will be our label, our title. It is bittersweet to say goodbye to the name of the Sea Files. The name is very personal for us, and it's a reminder of who we are and what we've done for the past year. We've had some good times, we've had some bad times, but overall it's been a very rewarding experience. Being able to create something of your own, putting the work and effort into it to make it what it is. And it's small, but as Sir Francis Drake once said, there's greatness from small beginnings. It's a little uncharted trivia for all you gaming enthusiasts. So overall, we're very excited about going forward with this new label. We've already had some pretty good artwork for us. Obviously, there's still more work to do. But that is the nature of a podcast and a YouTube channel. You're always changing, always evolving. And this new label for us is a great step forward. We're obviously going to be very fond and remembering our old days as the Sea Files podcast. At the same time, we're also going headfirst into the unknown with 
the Dark Ether Files podcast. It's also very interesting that we are heading into the fall and winter seasons. Obviously, October is known for the dark and spooky holiday that is Halloween. And our transition into the Dark Ether Files podcast is very fitting for the more cold and mysterious seasons. And it's also a good chance to get out. Go explore nature. If you have a backyard, or if you live out in the sticks, like I do, this is a good opportunity to start having bonfires. Much like the bonfire you're seeing in this video right now. I've always been fond of bonfires. Being able to sit out in the cold, watching the fire burn, hearing the sounds of nature, it's always had a very nice aesthetic feel. Something that you can't really get when you're inside a house. It gives us a good opportunity to enjoy the world that you live in from a different perspective. So, That'll do it from me here at the C-Files podcast. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on when you are watching this video. And stay tuned for more content here on the YouTube channel as well as on our podcast platforms. You can expect more movie reviews. Also expect a series of Halloween reviews. As you guys already know, we just did our Halloween 2 1981 review with Wolfman from Mega Movies. And here pretty soon, we are going to be reviewing the first Halloween film, as well as Halloween 2018, and then finally, Halloween Kills. Something we here at the C-Files are very excited to review. It's been a long time coming, and we are very big fans of Michael Myers and his legacy of terror. So, until then, my fellow investigators and my fellow special agents out there, this is Special Agent Spooky Clutter from the C-Files Podcast, signing off. And until next time, remember, the entertainment is out there. <laughs>